Pavel Durov reports that millions and millions of new users are joining Telegram, and thus more and more people text in the messenger. This video is about Telegram tips and life hacks that will be useful to everyone and every day. It's the Telebloke channel. Are you not yet with us? Click the subscribe button right now and welcome to our community. With the latest update, Telegram continues to improve its functionality, existing features, and occasionally transfer them from one place to another. Let's work out together which of the tricks you should start using immediately and which you'll find useful in your everyday life. There are often situations when you get an important message that requires your attention but you can't answer or you need to come back to this question with more information later. To remind yourself to get back to the message after reading, I suggest you use the feature Mark as new. There are two ways to do it. The first is to swipe right in front of the dialog you want and you'll see the unread button. The other way is to long tap the dialog and you'll get a sub-menu where you will find Mark as unread. In the desktop version, right-click on the dialog and choose Mark as in red. After this manipulation, you'll get a full circle opposite the dialog, which means the chat is not red. The Telegram's special message menu has changed its location, and many people can't seem to find it. Now, in order to send a message without a sound or schedule it, you have to long press the send arrow, and you'll get all these features. I'll remind you that in the first case, when you tap on send without sound, the message will be delivered immediately. However, the other person won't get any notifications on their smartphone. It's super convenient, especially if you're afraid to wake the user up when it's late in case they have the sound on. Schedule a message is a delayed message that will be delivered at an extra date and time. You can use this one in various situations, both in life and work. And if you send a message like that to your saved messages, it works as a reminder, which is also very convenient. Do you remember how secret chats work in Telegram? If not, I told you about this trick in one of my recent videos on the channel. You can find everything you need to know about secret texting in Telegram there. Previously, the send without sound feature was unavailable in a secret chat, but with the latest messenger update, it's now possible to send this type of message in a secret chat. And next, we're talking about the new search, calls in Telegram, and how to read everything on Android. Bear with us. And if you want to support our channel, give this video a thumbs up. It will encourage me to make more videos like this. From time to time I make calls in Telegram, and with video calls this feature has become even more popular. By default, the Calls tab is displayed at the bottom bar of Telegram next to Contacts. Frankly, I've never seen the use of it. This tab can be easily hidden. All you have to do is go to Settings, then Recent Calls and tap Show Calls tab to make it go white. I wonder if a lot of people actually use this tab. Share in the comments, please. Let's find it out. In one of my videos on the channel, I was talking about other useful Telegram tips, and there was an interesting one about how to read all the messages. Back then it was only available for iOS, but not for Android. But you, my dear viewers, helped me by telling me how to do it on Android, and I thank you for that. Go to Settings, scroll all the way down where you can see the version of Telegram you have. Then make two long taps on it and you'll get an extra menu in which you can tap Read all the messages in case you have lots of them. There you can also do other useful things like Clear Cache, Reset Chats Cache and more. The search engine in Telegram also got improved. So the search engine has really become much more functional and useful. First of all, you can sort texts by date and by chats. But the coolest thing is that you can use several filters at once. I'll show you how that works. Enter the username you want to find, then go to the Media tab and you get the opportunity to choose this user as a filter. Then you can enter the date on which you need to find something and you get another filter by date. You can also write both a specific date or a month. For example, if you type yes today, you will get all the data for the previous day. And then we can just look for the media, links and other things by the respective tabs. 
By the way, here's another little trick. Usually, if you want to search for something in a chat, channel or group, you go to the menu and then press the search button. But there's an easier way to do that. When you're in a chat, just long tap the user's or channel's name and you'll get the same search in the chat. Minus one action. This feature is only available for iOS users, though. And that would be all the live hacks and tricks that I wanted to share with you. It's high time to share in the comments which of the ones you liked the most or you didn't know about, but thanks to this video, you're gonna use them. I'm looking forward to your comments, to be the first one to get new videos on the channel and to encourage me to make new content. Please do subscribe to the channel right now and don't forget to ring the bell. Let our community grow and strive. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be trendy.